Here we are at problem 1b from our target 1. We're asked to evaluate the following expression. And in just looking at this, we notice that there's quite a bit going on. Um, just following our order of ops, we are going to go ahead and do our parentheses first. Now, when we're looking at our parentheses, we're going to take our innermost parentheses. And so that's actually in this set right here. So we're going to look at here first. Um, again, because when we talk about parentheses, we have to work our innermost and then work our way out. Outward. So starting here, inside this parenthesis, we're going to go ahead and do our exponents. Because if we remember back to order of ops or PEMDAS is that nice little acronym that, uh, that we can use. Now there's some, um, there's some things about PEMDAS that are nice and some things that are you know, somewhat misleading. This multiplying and dividing, they actually happen at the same time. Uh, times we do that from left to right likewise with the addition and subtraction the they actually have the same power behind them uh, and so you just read those from left to right PEMDAS is just a really nice acronym that we have to kind of help us remember the order of these things though um, but again multiplying and dividing they have the same power behind them read them from left to right addition and subtraction same thing we just read them from left to right now looking then at our innermost parentheses we're going to go ahead and use our exponent again. So that would be right here. We have 2 cubed. And so pretty much that's just 2 times 2 times 2, or 8 there. So pretty much just rewriting everything else. We have 12 minus 20 minus 2 times 6 divided by 3. And again, that 2 cubed comes out to be 8. So we're going to be multiplying this by 8. Again, still working in this innermost parenthesis, we would then go on to multiplying and dividing. Well, again, multiplying and dividing have that same exact power behind them. And so we would read this then from left to right. So it looks like we're actually going to divide that 6 divided by 3 first. All right, so just rewriting everything, we have 12 minus uh, bracket 20 minus 2. By the way, brackets are the exact same thing as parentheses. It's just a different way to tell so you don't have parentheses everywhere. 6 divided by 3 comes out to be 2 times 8. And for some of us, we can go ahead and skip certain parts because you know how to simplify this, but I'm just showing everything for the, so that we're all on the same page. After that, we would then go ahead and multiply this 2 times the 8. The only thing left inside that innermost parenthesis, giving us then 16. After which, we would then look at this bracket. And inside this bracket, we have 20 minus 2. And really, that 2 is being multiplied by our 16. So there is a multiplication symbol that we're going to go ahead and do first inside of this bracket. Because again, it goes back to PEMDAS inside this innermost bracket. So we saw this 12 minus 20 minus 2 times 16 gives us uh, 32. You could have also seen this as negative 2 times positive 16 to get negative 32. Still again, doing the innermost bracket, or really the only bracket here. We have 12 minus 20 minus 32 comes out to be negative 12. And any time that we are subtracting by this negative, really what we're doing there is adding those two together. So we end up then with 12, really plus 12, for a final simplified version of 24. Again, anytime you're subtracting by a negative, you would be adding those items together. So again, our simplified version for problem 1b comes out to be 24. Again, though, that is 1b from our target 1.